Hi and welcome to the first question in paper one of the 2017 Junior Cert Higher Level paper. Okay, so we'll see it here now. Before we get started, okay, it's always worth pausing the video and having a go at the question yourself. If you're struggling, then you can uh, play it on and see where you're going wrong. If you want these uh, notes with the screen grabbed uh, question from the exam paper and the associated answer built in after, then you can email me at shanetroy at gmail.com and that web link or email address is um, in the description of this video. So it's got stuck in, okay? So a person's body mass index, now that's their BMI, is given by the following formula. BMI is equal to their weight, so their weight in kilograms, and their height in meters, okay? So let's just do whatever the formula gives us, we'll use it, okay? So there's three unknowns there, BMI, so we're probably going to have to find. Uh, we'll be given their weight and given their height. But there's three different things that you have there. Now, part A, part 1. Now, this is a 15D question. Part 1 and 2 are, are marked together. Usually, if you get one part correct, uh, you'll get the high partial, which would be 12. So that's fantastic, okay? So be trying to do well. Or if you've got both of them with good work, you get maybe the, the, the mid-9, whatever. Jerry's an athlete. Her weight is 77.5 kilograms. Okay, so be careful now that it is given in kilograms. Now, I can't imagine in junior start they won't. In my science or maths career, every unit was given to you in pounds. You had to convert it and do convert it and do all the stuff before you could tackle the question. It was always very uh, annoying. Um, now, her height is given uh, meters as well as in the question. So it's 1.63 meters. So work out Jerry's BMI. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So yeah, there's three unknowns, you're given two of them, throw them in, use the calculator. So you have it here, okay, her BMI is equal to weight divided by her height squared, her weight is 77.5 divided by 1.63 squared. Uh, again, calculator job, uh, you can probe the whole thing in. I went straight to 29.196 was what I have written down here. Uh, I wanted it rounded to one decimal place, so the nine here is what matters. The number prior to where you're rounding to. Nine is greater than five, so the number prior to it goes up by one. 29.2. There's no units associated with um, uh, BMI, so you should be able to get away with it there. Okay, I'll go back to part two here. So Jerry loses some weight during her training. Her height stays the same. Her new BMI is 24.0. Okay, and work out her new weight. Give your answer in kilograms, correct to one decimal place. Now, the reason they're writing point zero there, there's the round it using significant figures. Um, the reason you might do that is to show that the 24 has not been rounded previously. Without the point zero there, you could assume, maybe correctly or wrongly, that 24 was rounded and it could have been 23.5 rounded up to 24, or 24.4 rounded down to 24. So the 24.0 means it's exactly that figure. It's just a mathematical thing, or more a measurement engineering thing, to be honest. But anyway, work out her new weight, give your answer in kilograms. So we're given her BMI, we're given the, the this we're looking for her weight we're giving her height she, she hasn't grown taller or shorter she's still sorry 1.63 meters so I've, I've filled them in there now you could have rearranged the question if you wanted to before you do any work if I was doing that here you could uh, this is where you're usually to be honest in college in science or engineering you rearrange your equation first then input the numbers um, it's easier to move around variables than it is numbers so the h squared here was being divided if you were doing this, it'd be what BMI. So just do it quickly. It was divided on the on the right. When it comes across to the left when you move and across the equal, changes operator. So it was dividing. So it becomes across becomes multiplying. And that's h squared, and that leaves your uh, unknown on its own. So if you use the calculator, and that's basically what I've done here. Twenty four times one point six three squared equals w. Uh, in this case, I put the numbers in and was moving numbers. Put it in the calculator, I got 63.76. Need to round it to one decimal place. So the six is what matters here. That's greater than five, so the next number prior to it rounds up. So that's 63.8, final answer. Now the units here are kilograms. Um, might matter because they, uh, they tell you, but always put your units in. You know, never leave it. In fact, the last thing you do before you, you hand the paper back up or at the end of the exam, is go back over each question and go, was your units needed? Did I round it properly? Okay. And there's marks all the way through the paper. If you lose them all, it could be, you know, 10, 15 marks. It could be significant. So that's question one, part two. 
Now part B here is a 10C, part one, so it's 25 marks for the whole thing, so there's a lot of marks for part A, uh, 10 marks for part C. Alex and Joe have the same weight. Alex is 10 centimeters taller than Joe. Put a tick in the correct box to show if Alex's BMI is greater than Joe's or less than Joe's. Okay, now, you gotta understand here with BMI, uh, it's a, it's, a me it's a measure of body size. So you know, people with a bit of uh, high, high BMI, say 100, but they're tall, their BMI will be low. If a person has 100 as, as their weight and they're short, they'll be it, it will divide them with a greater number, so their BMI will be higher. Okay, so, so if you understand BMI, like, this question is, is, is easy. Okay, if, but if you don't understand BMI, then that, that, you know, and it can be a new concept for most people, it's a nutrition thing. So it should be now, he's taller than Joe's, his BMI should be less than Joe's, okay? If you imagine, if it was a very simple example here, if they were both 100 kilograms, okay, um, and your man was, Joe was what? Let's say she was 10 centimeters tall, okay? 10 to 100 goes 10 times. Whereas, uh, if this is Alex's, uh, 100 was 100, okay, and he was 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters taller, so he's 20 centimeters, Okay, 20 into 100 goes five times. So his BMI is smaller. Okay, it's the exact same concept, because their weights are the same. So his will be less than Joe's. And we'll go straight to the answer here, okay? Uh, less than Joe's. Now, that's a justification given mathematically. You could have used numbers like I just did there. You're given the same weight, just two different heights, one being 10, 10 more than the other, and divide them in and show that, you know, th that way. Or you could try to describe it using words. That can be hard because you know it's 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 count counterintuitive. Okay, you go because he's bigger, wouldn't his BMI be bigger? But that's not showing an understanding of what BMI is. Okay, which again is hard. Great, that's question one, part B done. So uh, best look, I would say, suggest you review that and make sure that it makes sense. And again, if you want to send notes off me, just email me at shanetroy at gmail.com. And hope you have a good day.